Hey guys, it's Zach and welcome back to the shop. Last week we installed a laser for the Axiom CNC. So this week we're gonna prototype out a smoke extraction system using a activated charcoal filter from a microwave. You wanna see how I did it? Stick around. All right, so like anything, you're gonna have to find a place to source your wood. In this case, I'm able to use some wood that I had on hand. And all I'm gonna do here is trim off the two sides just to square everything up. Okay, so here I'm setting the height of the blade to about half the thickness. In this case, it's about a quarter inch. Eighth inch is perfect size for the microwave filter. Okay, so I have a piece of scrap um, plywood, or bead board I guess it is, and I just wanted to cut it to size for the back part of this box we're building. After uh, playing around with the blade a little bit more, I got the bead board to fit perfect on the other side. So we have one side for the filter and the other side for the beadboard. So now we just need to get the measurements to cut everything at a 45 degree angle. Is it uh, sacrilegious to use a different CNC to make parts for a, another CNC? <laughs> uh, no, so all I'm doing here is gluing down this uh, the bottom part of the box and going to bake a perfect circle so that a 4 inch dust collection port will fit. Just adding a little bit of silicone here on the inside in hopes that it will just help a little bit of the airflow or air not getting back out. Don't forget to cut off the one at the top of the box so that you can get the filter in. Now comes your favorite part, uh, assembly. So all we're gonna do is just some glue and some uh, uh, 18, in, 18 gauge brad nails. And that should hold it up, hold it together pretty well.
All right, so now we're going to add the blower, but uh, I actually made a mistake here. I decided to put it on backwards, so I later had to flip that around. So just if you end up using the same blower, just keep that in mind. All right, I actually had some four inch flexible hose just laying around, so I decided to cut it to length and attach it to the box. Now the board that this stuff is attached to is pretty arbitrary. I decided to go with a 29 inch board and about 10 inches wide, um, but that's just because I want it to fit underneath the CNC machine. So you'll actually see why that makes more sense later. All right, once I sourced a power strip, because I run out of outlets in this area, um, I decided to give it a test. So I actually cranked down the speed of this to create more smoke. I wanted to see how well it, it you know, worked, basically. I forgot to mention, but you will see it in this shot here, that the plastic piece which holds in the dust collection uh, boot, it, uh, it has been modified slightly. I actually cut, cut a flat side of it uh, on the table saw so it fits the laser. I was trying my best to find the right angle so you can kind of see the spoke being pulled in. And this seems to be probably the best. There's still some that makes it forward of uh, past it, but for the most part, it's actually getting pulled into the hose. All right, well, there you have it, guys. Um, remember, this is kind of just a proof of concept, but what I did was I ran the same logo as I did last time in the last video, just a lot darker, just to see how much smoke it would produce. And I gotta tell you, it looks like it picked up probably about 90% of the smoke from this distance there is still a little bit that came out the front i just couldn't help that um, maybe if i actually made this a little bit smaller and more direction uh, more directional i might be able to help that um, but works out pretty well so what i did is i tucked it underneath the machine itself this is the dust collection uh, hose that I'll, I'll hook up to the blast gate when i need to cut regular uh, dust stuff and then uh, I'm sorry for for the regular wood and stuff and then this is just a blower that blows into a microwave um, active uh, charcoal uh, What do you call it? active charcoal filter? So that's the most important thing is it runs through an active charcoal which will will absorb some of that smoke and then it just comes back out into the air so um my original idea actually was to go through the hole in the side of the room out, outside, but I thought maybe if I can do it inside and not poke a hole into my siding, that would probably be better. So, But then again, I mean, I still smell a little bit of smoke, but not nearly as bad as it was when I ran it without it. So I'm pretty happy with the prototype. And if you guys have any ideas, please leave a comment down below and let me know. So thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.